Hi everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Di. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Mimeograph Monday with a twist. I am so glad that you're joining me today um, on this April the 1st. Happy Fool's Day. Uh, hopefully you won't get fooled. Hopefully everything goes okay. Um, but yeah, it's hard to believe it's April 1st. Um, it was a rainy weekend in Santan Valley. Um, we had a um, very quiet Easter. Hopefully you had a, a blessed Easter. Um, and it rained most of the day. So um, so luckily we didn't have to hide any eggs or any of that stuff because it was a muddy mess. So um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So welcome, welcome to my channel. So our today is my Mimeograph Monday with a twist. So I'm going to case a project out of the catalog, and then I'm going to do a twist on it. So that means I'll do two projects today. Um, I usually come to you Monday, Tuesdays, Fridays, and a quick little video Saturday, in case this is the first time that you've been here. I'm watching the live premiere with you, but I'm in the chat room. So if you have any questions at all, just make sure you head on over to the chat room and um, you know you can ask me then during the um, live premiere. If you are watching the replay, please leave a comment down below and then YouTube will let me know that you've reached out so that um, I can get back with you. All right, I think that's all I had to go over. Um, I will be... Um, explaining the um, host code um, tomorrow for my Teach Me Tuesdays, um, as well as um, goodies and guts. So, okay, so um, close your eyes for a second while I get my camera adjusted. So the project I'm doing today is out of the main catalog. Now this catalog is retiring, so you wanna make sure that, um, you know, you, you go to my blog, my blog address is over here, um, and check out the retired list so you can see that. I also have done a catalog clip through. Um, I also have that on my channel so that it's a little easier for you to figure out. Um, but today I'm going to be using doing this card right here. And this is the um, Reach for the Stars bundle. And this is... I just thought it was a really cute card. This is a really fun bundle. The paper is amazing. So we're just gonna have fun, fun with that. So here is the recipe that I talk about. So if you go to my blog over here, on the very top, you can see current catalogs. If you click on that, it will open up a page and then the page will show you the catalogs and the recipes are there. So keep in mind, those are for current recipes only. So when the catalog expires, retires, um, is gone, then those recipes will be removed. So just make sure you grab them while they're there. Now, I always laugh, I always find, not always, but a lot of times I will, I'll find mistakes. Because um, this is just kind of a reference and um, it helps me figure out, well, what colors were used, paper, and all that good stuff. Um, but it says here, card base size is as a square four inch. Well, you can tell by looking at it that that is not a four inch card. But down here it says instructions, card sizes four and an eight by five and three eighth. So that just kind of helps um, when I'm cutting the card stop just till I get my placements right. A lot of times uh, you don't have to do it identical, but um, I try to do as close as I can to that catalog version. All right, so this is the bundle. It's reach for the stars. It is a cling. So cling means, and I didn't even mount all of it, I just mounted the pieces, it's the red rubber. So um, we have cling and photopolymer. Photopolymer is the clear, so you can see through it. It also has a, um, a die that matches it, so you can cut out some of the pieces and then there's extra pieces. It's great, it's got a bunch of circle shapes and some ovals, so it's an awesome, um, awesome die to um, to have for a lot of different sets. All right, so let's see here. We have, this is all the card pieces. And this is a regular, um, does it fit in an envelope? Hang on a minute, I think it does. Yep, it fits in there. All right, so I have my pieces cut ahead of time just to kind of 
save some time. So this is that holographic paper. This is part of that um, collection. And just, it's almost blinding, right? Like I try not to look at it too much. And then we have this amazing um, DSP pack as well so this gets used as well look at that oh there's it's just gorgeous 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 all right so the this is the card and then what i did was i cut this the same size so i'm just going to um attach that to the card so you don't see the basic white card itself because this paper is on it but this is just um you know it makes this paper go further because it's just 12 by 12 it's one-sided so that just makes you have this really really fun paper in the background then this paper is going to go on here and I didn't put anything on the inside of the catalog version so this just goes here you just see a little bit of that holographic sticking out of the edges so you can see it catches that light so it's going to look different um how you know how the the light hits it and then we have this is which is going to go right on here but we're going to stamp it first so i have a grid sheet because i am going to stamp our um our astronauts they're going to be off the page a little bit so um i just want to make sure that you know that is good 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 all right so the colors we're using are orchid orchid oasis lemon lime twist and berry burst so i'm just going to open those up lemon lime twist and orchid Ugh. It's so hard to to rotate that arm. Oh, I hope that gets better. All right, so we're going to um, stamp our astronauts. Now, the first guy is the berry one. So let me bring this over here. And I'm just going to clean them in between. So this is berry burst. And it's a nice and juicy pad. So that looks good. So he's going to go right in the center here. And I'm kind of going to put him a little at an angle, like they're, they're um, floating in that atmosphere. I don't know if that's what it's called. I'm a stamper, not an astronaut, that's for sure. Okay, now I'm going to wash this off the camera on my little scrub pad because I'm going to change colors. All right, so let me just close that all right and then the next one is going to be my green so this is lemon lime so same thing i'm just going to ink him up really good and he's good and juicy too and then he's kind of over here off to the side so he's kind of coming into view there and it might not be an exact exact spot as the catalog but it's close enough okay and then the orchid now orchid is also what I'm going to be using for my breeding this is such a pretty pretty color all right I'm just going to put him there Okay, so we've got our th three astronauts on our page and then I just have a piece of scrap over here Ugh, excuse my arm all right and then I'm just going to use I'm going to clean this real quick because for my twist I changed the color I also did a regular size card all right so we have your stellar in the orchid so i just stamp that on there and then i'm just going to fussy cut that out i also cut myself this is just a piece of 
the designer series paper that's going to go behind the your stellar and in the orchid cardstock I did some of these cute little stars and those are in the die so let me bring them over here so that cardstock was not mentioned but I could see them in the picture so all right so we're going to go your stellar I'm so jittery when I try to straighten that arm out. All right, so there we go. Your stellar. Okay, I don't think I need this anymore. All right, so let's bring the card over. And then I have it open like this, kind of like a long, long card. All right, so these guys are going to come over here. I also have some of the Baker's Twine. This is the in color um, Baker's Twine. And I just put it on a, a wooden spool because it looks cute like that. All right. So we're just going to tie a cute little bow. And this is going to go on the on here with glue dots there so it's going to go in between the your stellar and this designer series paper so i'm just going to put that on the glue dot and then i just kind of pinch that around and we're just going to put it on there like that all right so our your stellar and i'm just going to use the baby glue dots because i think i cut it the right thickness for the baby one And then another baby one. That way it can straddle that um, knot there. Okay. And then this is going to go on here. And it's kind of down towards the bottom a little bit. So that just straddles that ribbon. Okay. So let's put our astronauts on the card and then we'll put our greeting and then we'll do the twist so let me know if you if you have this set if it's on your wish list I just thought it was so fun and that paper like I said is so gorgeous but um, it's just a cool cool set all right so there they are there floating around all right, now this I'm going to put on with glue dots as well. But I am going to shorten this just a little bit. Okay. All right. And then this goes right to the edge of the card. Just like that your stellar and that is as simple as it gets for that catalog version one what well, isn't that cool all the different colors it's really really neat like maybe this guy is the is the um engine guy and maybe this is the photographer and maybe this is some other so they all have different color outfits so that's what i think all right so let's get to my twist so the twist, I had it be a regular size card. Not that that one wasn't a regular size card necessarily. I mean, it was just a little, um, and I did all my stuff ahead of time. All right. Let me get all this, all these pieces over there. Um, Cause this is a regular size card. And then this was the catalog one. So see, it's just a little, it was just a, a, a smidge different. I mean, I could have made it regular size card, but like I said, um, I made it like it said. All right. 
So this time I did a basic white um, card base, so like before, but I wanted I want to use the fun um, designer series paper, like these um, planety looking things. But look at some of this paper, like it is just amazing. So it's just it's just breathtaking. It is just just gorgeous. Anyways, all right, so I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose this one. All right, so I'm going to put that right on the card. And I did put a little bit on the inside. All right, so this goes here. And I did put a piece on the inside. So I just cut a piece of that that was left over just to put on the bottom. So when you're cutting your paper, you know, because this is four by five and three quarter, I know that I'm going to not have the full 12 by 12 view. So then I usually cut myself a one inch strip from the designer series paper that I can use on the inside because I know I'm going to um, have some edge pieces anyway. So I usually right from the get go cut that one inch strip and then I have it. And then it's long enough to go either direction because I cut it from the 12 by 12 stage, right? All right, so this is just going to go on the inside. I did not stamp anything on the inside. That way I can use this card like later for something or I can use it as a um, thank you card and then the person can write in it. Um, and then I'll just put a post-it note. But look how beautiful that paper is. Oh my gosh, it is just so, so gorgeous. All right. Now, I wanted to have a little bit more fun because I did do a card ahead of time, but I thought I would have a little bit more fun with this one just to see how I could play around with it. It might not even work. All right, so we have, um, so this is the planet. So this is one of the dies. It cuts out that really fun planet, and then this goes here. So I'm just going to put this here because this would be over top of that right I'm trying to cover that well okay that's good because I'm gonna put something in here so anyway so this just kind of covers that so let me put um where's my green tip glue here we go so I'm gonna put a little green tip glue on here because I'm going to pop this in here. Bring it down a little bit. Because I don't, I don't know if I cut the, the same one that was on the paper for one thing. All right, so that looks good. And then I'm going to put a little glue on this one here so that it will stick to that. All right, and then I thought it'd be fun to kind of have this um, planet or whatever that is on there. And then I also did a greetings friend. So when you cut out, um, you know, this, it gives you this ovally thing. So I just did my greetings and then I thought it'd be fun to like stick that like right inside there. I thought that would be fun. And then my man, so this is my um, astronaut, and I did him with the, um, I did him with um, the memento because I want to add a little bit of color, and I want, excuse my arm, I wanted to add a little bit of color. So what I've done is I have like some light gray granite, and I want his outfit to kind of look white it has a little bit of color to it so i'm just going to put a little light gray granite here and there just to kind of give it that whitish look but i am going to add a little bit of bubble gum not bubble gum bubble bath as well so it's got 
um, just a little, like it's, it might be catching some light from, um, you know, the planets or whatever. All right, then I have the um, lemon lolly. Now, I just grabbed the dark because these little areas are pretty small, and so I'm not going to worry about doing light and dark. So I'm just going to color the hose with some lemon lime lolly. And then these little things over here as well. Just add a little bit of that. That looks good. All right. Now his shoes, um, I'm just going to do light pebble path because I think, um, I think his shoes might be like a dark, but I didn't want to make them be overly dark. And I love the pebble path because it's just is pretty, pretty, um, it's not black, it's not gray, it's just a pretty, pretty, pretty color. All right, then I'm going to do bubble bath, so I have dark and light, all right, so we're going to do my dark bubble bath. So I'm going to give his gloves kind of like a bubble bath look, and I'm going to put someone there. I'm also going to come over here and put a little bit on the top of the helmet because I'm just going to assume his helmet has got a pink kind of sheen to it as well. Ugh. All right, and then I'll do my light. So I have my light bubble bath as well. And up on the top of his helmet. And then just like I said, I'm going to put a little bit on the space suit here and there so that it has just this little tiny bit of that bubble bath as well as that gray. So let me pick that up. Hopefully you can see that. So see, it's got a little bit of a um, pink look to it. There you go. So this is kind of cool, but I thought it would be even more fun. Let me set this away. So, um, so this has like the dark, right? But I'm going to pretend that he can see something. So I cut out a bunch of different, um, oh, and I forgot to put squirrel. Look at, I forgot these. Hold on a minute. I'm going to bring this over. <laughs> I'm like going all over the place. All right, let me just add these. One, two, three. Before I lose them, because I can just see myself losing these. So these are just kind of plopped around on the on the first card I did. <laughs> all right, there we go. Okay, now back to this card. All right, so I thought it'd be fun. So the die has... Um, a circle, right? A little tiny circle. And that circle is perfect for his, um, like what he's looking at. So I did a bunch of different circles because I was like, well, let's have fun with this guy. So this is just some of that holographic paper. So this gives it kind of like, you know, you can't see his face. Then I did, let's see, what else did I do? I did... This green, so he's like seeing maybe like um, so another planet or something. Maybe there's flowers up there. He could be seeing anything. Maybe he's seeing some flowers reflecting. I even thought it'd be cute with the zoo paper to put a face in there. And this is the little sloth. I just cut it out with that circle. So you've got a sloth up in space. But I thought if they had a sloth, they would never make it to space. So then I had the little kitty from Fluffiest Friends. I thought, who stuck to me? I have to, if I were going to use it, I would have to color it. But look how cute that is. But I finally decided I want to use the turtle because it just looks like he's just whistling along. So I am going to add a little bit of color to my turtle so he's not just plain. So put a little 
little color. Let's do them a little flirty flamingo cheek. And this way, so the turtle won't be as slow as the sloth, but he will be very, um, he'll take his time so that nothing happens. He'll be able to look at the planets. Let's give him a little eyeshadow. So I'm going to take my light pool party and give him a little eyeshadow there. But now he's got a little bit of color to him, so he's not just plain. We put some little cheeks. You know me. I always have to put little, um, whatchamacallit, sparkles. So now I'm going to put this on here. I'll have to put it on there straight, obviously. But but doesn't that look so fun? Like, oh, look, at there's a turtle in space. All right. So let me get my, I want to make sure my freckles are dry. So I'm just going to put some green tip glue here. And put my little turtle. So he's just. <whistles> that's about all I can whistle. I cannot whistle loud. But anyways. But isn't that. <laughs> that makes me laugh so hard. Okay. So if you have, you know, if you have this and you go, oh my gosh, this is so cute. But wouldn't the wouldn't the um the wouldn't the aliens be going what in the heck? All right, so we're gonna put this guy here. Winston, stop, please. All right, so we're gonna put this here, and I'm just gonna put this on with some dimensional. So I did the other card. I'll show you the other card. Um, I'm gonna put this on. Shh. I'm going to put this on with some dimensionals. And I'll show you. So this I did a little bit different than the other one. Just because I wanted to have have some fun with this one. So this would be a great April Fool's card, right? All right, so we have our planet right down here. Then I'm going to put my greetings, friend. And do I want to put that on with dimensionals? So it kind of sticks up. I think I do. So I'm going to put the dimensionals on here. I'm just going to plop this on there. So then it will stick up a little bit. I'm trying to make it be pretty. There we go. Greetings, friend. And then we're going to put our little um, turtle astronaut. And he's just going to kind of be. I'm going to. Do I put his foot under there? I kind of want him off to the side a little bit. I'm sorry, Winston is throwing a fit in the house. There's probably someone coming to the door. All right, so I'm going to put this like this. So he's kind of on that planet, like he's checking that out. But look how fun. So isn't that so cute <laughs> with that turtle? Oh, my gosh. So, um, so let me show you the one I did ahead of time. And... Uh, so what I did different with this one was um, I didn't put the planet. So I had a little bit more space for him. So this time I put him on a wobble. And the wobbles are, um, I get those off of Amazon. I just stuck them in a little milk bottle. But they're just a little um, plastic dealy bob that you stick under there. And then it looks like he's, you know, like really, really like floating in space. Um, I did put some, and I'm going to do some of these on here. I did put some of the 2022-24 um, In Color Pearls. Um, 
because I just like that little bit of a shine, like maybe there are stars or um, something going on. With this one, I just put, um, I just cut a circle out of this paper so that it just kind of was reflecting this in the face. And But I could not resist having fun with you today with, um, you know, like I said, it is April Fool's Day. Gotta have, we got to laugh at ourselves. There's got to be a turtle in space. All right, so I'm just going to kind of plop some of these around. One, two. You want to have uh, one, two. How many is that? One, two, three, four, and one more. You have to have odd, right? Odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye. All right. There we go. There's so many different blooms you could use, but that's, I just grabbed those because they kind of went with that paper. But, all right, so let me move that aside. So let me show you. Oh, here is the catalog version. So the Your Stellar using that beautiful holographic paper. Now keep in mind, um, the, the stamp set, the die, the holograph paper, the, um, oh my gosh, what is that paper called? It is called stargazing. This is called stargazing. This paper is retiring. I don't think it will make it to the end of the catalog. Um, so just make sure if, if you want to play with that. Um, even if you don't get the um, astronaut, you know, it is just gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Um, if you have somebody that loves stars and things, it would be gorgeous just um, framed and put on the wall because it is amazing but um so have fun here um if you want to um have even more fun just go through your designer series paper and find some cute little faces you can put in there but i just i just got such a kick out of um out of doing that see you later alligator so what do you think i think a turtle can go to space um and like i said the the alien they would go oh my gosh what is that turtle doing here um so um make sure you look through the through the catalog what you can do is you can um do a, like a um put do the die right just make a um a little die so you have that shape and then just take it around with the catalog and then you can just lay it on the catalog different places and you'll see if that will fit in the um astronaut so, um, cause some things might be too big, right? Like the cat looks cute, but it takes up quite a bit of space. Um, and I thought the turtle was just more, more fun. Cause you could really tell that that was a turtle. Um, so anyways, but so have fun with it. That's what it's all about. Have fun while you're stamping. All right. So I'm going to stop blabbing. I will see you tomorrow for my teach me Tuesdays. That will be at three o'clock Arizona time, same time, same time channel. Um, I thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow. All right. Bye for now.